Hello everyone, welcome to Hard Copy, the program where we bring you the people behind the news. I'm Maupe Ogun. Section 217 of Nigeria's constitution provides for the establishment of the armed forces of the country and spells out quite clearly their role and responsibilities, which include defending Nigeria from external aggression, maintaining its territorial integrity and securing its borders from violation, and suppressing insurrection and acting in aid of civil authorities to restore order when called upon to do so by the president. There, however, growing arguments as to whether or not the armed forces, particularly the Nigerian army, are staying within their roles as prescribed by the Nigerian constitution and their effectiveness in playing the roles even as prescribed by the constitution. My guest tonight is the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai, Oh, General, you're welcome to Hard Copy. Uh, thank you, Maupi. Okay. Well, pleasure. you have been at the helm of affairs now for at least two years. And I know that the challenges confronting the Nigerian army are plenty. But let's quickly start with this comment uh, taken from the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, at a capacity building workshop recently. He said, it's worrisome that Nigeria is permanently in a state of emergency as the armed forces are deployed in more than 28 states of the Federation in peacetime. The armed forces have virtually taken over routine police work in Nigeria. It's no longer acting in aid of civil authorities, but has become the civil authority itself. You heard that statement? Yep, I heard it. Do you agree with him? The issue of agreement or disagreement, uh, I don't want to... Uh, join votes uh, with uh, the uh, Honorable uh, Speaker, uh, but uh, he is speaking from his own uh, perspective, uh, what he has observed, and um, I was at the uh, National Assembly, remember uh, about uh, two weeks ago, uh, the uh, services, including uh, the Minister of Defense and Interior, who were at the uh, National Assembly, uh, including the Special General of Police, the CDS, and the other service chiefs, were invited uh, to uh, discuss the issue of uh, the incessant kidnapping along the Kaduna Abuja Highway. And uh, all of us made our positions. Now, I made it very clear that uh, the uh, police is the primary uh, institution uh, that is responsible for law and order, for internal security as well. We only come in to help uh, in aid of uh, the police and indeed the civil authority. That may well be so, but you know, for a lot of Nigerians now, the sight of the military or the sight of soldiers along the road when they're traveling is no, no longer anything me, strange. Let me, let me uh, you know, finish up what you, the first issue you raised, because mm -hmm. it's very fundamental. Mm -hmm. um, I raised the issue that the police uh, really uh, need uh, to be increased in terms of their size, their strength. I made the issue that they need, the police need to be uh, uh, trained and retrained. Uh, raise the issue of the police need to be equipped uh, for them uh, to be able to operate. Uh, it's very clear our primary role, as you gradually captured, you know, uh, the defense of our country, you know, from any external aggression, maintenance of our territorial integrity, and coming to aid of the civil authority, and so on. So, uh, clearly, it's police responsibility for law and order uh, for most of this uh, minor crimes. We only need to come in uh, to uh, really uh, support the uh, the police. But looking at the fate, uh, sorry uh, to interrupt you, Just a General. minute, just a minute. Let me uh, conclude because you raised a very you, serious I'll, I'll allegation. Let you, I will let no, you it's a serious allegation, thoughts. okay, uh, which I really need to be put into, need to be put You consider in it an allegation? Uh, 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 that is it. Okay. Not, not a statement of fact. You see, it, you can say it's a statement of fact, okay. It can also be uh, if you look at it in the other way, can I say it's an allegation because you look at it depends upon the context where you put it because it's there clearly in our role, you know, that we are to come to the aid of the civil authority and this is the role we are playing. 
But you must okay. be worried as chief that, you know, now it would seem that the roles that the Nigerian army is being called to play is quite different from the it's role that different. it was established it's not different. to, to, it's not, to play. It's not different. It's not different. You don't think so? It's not different. Because we have that concern. We've been called out. Yeah. Uh, the National Assembly called us together with members of the the police, okay, mm -hmm. to discuss the road, the, the, the road along, uh, I mean, the security of uh, this highway, the issue of kidnapping. So if they have not given all that tax, mm -hmm. you know, definitely will not be there. Because increasingly, the Nigerian army is being called upon to play roles in internal security arrangements. And is that, you've mentioned it in the constitution, it's one of the constitutional roles. But they're not being withdrawn. So we have a situation whereby it would seem that That's why I said the police need to be equipped, need to be retrained, they need to be increased in number so that they can take over their responsibilities. So until that happens, we're still going to be saying uh, definitely there will be, uh, there's likely of to be to be a lot of uh, challenges which uh, everybody is crying about. But you know, for a lot of a number of people, they're still concerned that you, the security challenges do not seem to be abating. I'm going to quote from uh, President Buhari's inaugural speech when he became president in 2015. He said, "The spate of kidnappings, armed robberies." Herdsmen and farmers' clashes, cattle rustlings, all help to add to the general air of insecurity in our land. It's 2017, and these problems are still very much prevalent. In fact, it would seem that for a number of people, the agitations uh, are also helping to compound. The agitations have arisen as a result of the general insecurity in the land. Would you agree well, with them? Well, um, it's a statement of facts. Uh, we should not shy away from the, the facts. Okay, Mr. President has said it, he has observed it, and uh, he is working towards uh, resolving this issue. Uh, insecurity, uh, you know, will, uh, is an issue that should be continuously be tackled. You know, there are certain things that are already part of the society. Check, uh, you know, issue of armed robbery, okay? Uh, check of issue of burglary. You know, so many other, you know, crimes that are already part of uh, the society. So but it's not a military responsibility. Uh, it's issue of law and order, okay? And now uh, everybody has that tax, that responsibility, you know, to see to its uh, control and possible uh, elimination. It's a, it's a collective responsibility. It's not a military responsibility. You I think a... most of our interaction should be probably focused on more of, uh, you know, uh, the military, as, uh, especially the army, Mm -hmm. And that of uh, internal security, because this, you know, issue probably will be more of uh, the experts, you know, in terms of uh, the law and order, the police and uh, other. Would you 